in the heart of a lush forest, where the trees whispered ancient secrets and the breeze carried tales of forgotten wisdom, there dwelled a raven, cloaked in shadow and sorrow. Perched upon a gnarled branch, the raven's ebony feathers ruffled as tears cascaded from its eyes, staining the bark with the weight of its despair. Yet, amidst the solitude of its lament, a figure sat in quiet contemplation, a monk whose presence seemed to weave threads of serenity into the fabric of the forest. As a solitary tear fell upon the monk's cheek, he raised his head to behold the sorrowful raven, its cries echoing through the stillness of the forest. With a voice as gentle as the rustling leaves, the monk addressed the raven, his words a soft melody carried upon the wind. What troubles you, my friend? he asked, his gaze filled with compassion. The raven, its voice heavy with anguish, spoke of a life plagued by loneliness and rejection, where the echoes of disdain drowned out the whispers of hope. No one loves me, it lamented, and I am shunned by all who cross my path. Hearing the raven's sorrow, the monk's heart stirred with empathy. My friend, he said, we must learn to find contentment in the quiet moments of our existence, for happiness lies not in the external, but in the depths of our own hearts. Yet, the raven remained ensnared by the shadows of its despair, unable to grasp the wisdom of the monk's words. Desperate for solace, it implored the monk to grant its deepest desire, to be transformed into a swan, a creature of grace and beauty. With a solemn nod, the monk offered his aid, weaving magic with the power of his mantra. But before he could fulfill the raven's wish, he posed a question that would change its perspective forever. Go, my friend, he instructed, and seek the wisdom of the creatures you envy most. Only then will you understand the true nature of happiness. And so the raven took flight, its wings carrying it across the forest in search of answers. In a tranquil pond, it found the swan, its pristine feathers glistening in the sunlight. Yet to the raven's surprise, the swan confessed a heart heavy with longing, yearning for the vibrant colors it had never known. Undeterred, the raven sought solace in the parrot's kaleidoscope of hues, only to find a soul shackled by the chains of captivity. And so, its quest led it to the peacock, adorned in resplendent plumage, yet imprisoned within the confines of a gilded cage. In the depths of disillusionment, the raven found enlightenment. Through the words of the peacock, it realized that true happiness could not be found in the shadows of envy, but in the light of acceptance and gratitude. With newfound clarity, the raven soared through the boundless skies, its heart unburdened by desire. In the quiet wisdom of the monk's teachings, it found solace, embracing the simple joy of being. And so, dear listeners, let us heed the lesson of the raven and the monk. In a world consumed by comparison and discontent, true happiness blooms from within. May we learn to cherish the blessings of our own lives, finding contentment in the beauty of our own existence. For in the tapestry of life, it is the acceptance of our true selves that leads to the greatest fulfillment. And in the quiet depths of our souls, we shall find the boundless freedom of the raven soaring ever higher towards the light of happiness and peace. Thanks for watching Inner House. Stay well, keep well.